China is developing one of the most unusual submarines ever conceived, the Type 041, a vessel combining nuclear and air-independent propulsion in one radical design. Imagine a submarine that can stay hidden underwater for weeks like a diesel-electric sub, but also travel vast distances without surfacing like a nuclear one. If successful, it could redefine stealth and endurance beneath the sea, marking a major leap in marine engineering. At the heart of the Type 041 project lies an engineering gamble unlike anything we've seen from China's naval designers before, a plan to merge two fundamentally different propulsion philosophies into one seamless system. For decades, submarines have been split into two camps, nuclear-powered ones that can travel the oceans indefinitely, and diesel-electric boats that are quieter but must resurface or use snorkels to recharge batteries. China's Type 039A Yuan class solved part of that problem by introducing Air Independent Propulsion, or AIP. AIP allows a submarine to stay underwater for weeks without needing to surface. It uses a fuel cell system that produces oxygen internally, enabling long, silent patrols near coastlines. The Yuan class became known as one of the quietest non-nuclear submarines in existence so quiet that some experts said it could be harder to detect than older nuclear models. Yet it had limits, slower speed, shorter range, and dependence on stored energy. The new Type 041 takes that proven AIP base and adds a compact, low-output nuclear reactor, sometimes referred to as a nuclear battery. Instead of driving the propellers directly, this reactor provides continuous power to recharge onboard batteries and AIP systems meaning the submarine can operate for far longer without surfacing or refueling. This concept could erase one of the biggest weaknesses of traditional diesel-electric boats, endurance. Design imagery suggests the Type 041 may feature an X-shaped stern for better stability and quieter maneuvering. Engineers also appear to be using advanced anechoic tiles, rubber-like panels that absorb sonar, along with new propeller geometries to reduce turbulence. Together, these upgrades could make the submarine exceptionally silent, efficient, and resilient under high pressure. In essence, the Type 041 aims to create a new propulsion category. Not fully nuclear, not fully conventional, but a hybrid sub capable of combining the stealth of AIP with the range of nuclear power. The significance of the Type 041 extends beyond engineering. It's about what such technology enables at sea. For years, China's diesel-electric submarines were considered specialists for regional waters, silent hunters designed to patrol close to home. They could hide effectively, but were limited in range. Nuclear submarines, meanwhile, offered global reach, but at the cost of noise and high expense. The hybrid approach of the Type 041 aims to bridge that gap, creating a vessel that can quietly operate over long distances while remaining cost-effective. Extended underwater endurance means a submarine can maintain a near-continuous presence in critical waterways without the need for resupply or surfacing. That endurance translates into better observation capabilities, longer deployments, and more flexibility in coordinating with surface and aerial assets for scientific research, reconnaissance, and surveillance. Moreover, hybrid propulsion reduces the vessel's acoustic and thermal signature, making it harder to detect. Even the act of switching between energy modes, from AIP to nuclear recharge, could be optimized to maintain silence. This ability to adapt power sources depending on the situation could make the Type 041 unpredictable and versatile. Another benefit lies in efficiency. A smaller reactor generates less heat and requires simpler shielding, potentially reducing costs and maintenance demands compared to large nuclear vessels. This approach could enable production in larger numbers without the infrastructure burden associated with full-scale nuclear fleets. For China's shipbuilding industry, the project also symbolizes a milestone in energy innovation. Integrating a stable nuclear system into a compact underwater platform demands advanced materials, precision engineering, and reliable safety mechanisms, areas that strengthen the entire industrial base. It also accelerates China's experience with compact reactors, a field that could eventually support commercial or civilian technologies such as floating power stations and deep-sea research vessels. Globally, 
This development represents a shift toward hybrid undersea technologies. Other nations have explored similar concepts, but China appears determined to make it operational first. The potential outcome is a new class of long-endurance, ultra-quiet submarines that could influence how future fleets are designed. Despite the excitement surrounding the Type 041, there are reasons to be cautious. Hybrid propulsion is an incredibly complex undertaking. The engineering challenge of safely combining nuclear and AIP systems within a confined submarine hull is enormous. Each technology has its own cooling, shielding, and maintenance requirements, and blending them without compromising safety or stealth is a delicate balance. Reports have mentioned that an early prototype experienced technical issues at its construction site, possibly linked to power or ballast failures. Such incidents highlight the difficulty of developing new propulsion systems from scratch. Even minor mechanical or thermal problems can cascade underwater, where every component operates under immense pressure. Engineers must perfect new alloys, sealing systems, and control algorithms to maintain stability in extreme underwater environments, a process that can take years of iteration before achieving consistent results. Another uncertainty concerns the reactor itself. Analysts debate whether China's so-called hybrid reactor is a full nuclear plant or a small modular unit that generates electricity indirectly. If it is the latter, performance gains could be more modest than advertised. However, even a limited nuclear battery would still mark a step forward in submarine endurance. Then there's the question of acoustic performance. Every moving part produces vibration, and new energy systems must be fine-tuned to prevent added noise. The Type 041 reportedly uses advanced sound-absorbing coatings and isolated machinery mounts to counteract this, but it remains to be seen how effective these measures are in real conditions. From a safety standpoint, introducing nuclear elements into smaller submarines raises legitimate concerns. Ensuring proper containment, radiation shielding, and cooling redundancy is essential. Unlike large nuclear submarines, smaller hybrids have less internal space to house heavy protective systems, which complicates design choices. On the broader scale, the project illustrates China's ambition to master advanced energy technologies for future maritime use. Success would showcase domestic expertise in mini reactors, materials science, and autonomous underwater systems. But the stakes are high. One setback could delay progress and cast out on hybrid propulsion reliability. In short, the Type 041's path forward depends on how well engineers can manage these risks while delivering tangible performance improvements. The submarine could become a symbol of a new era in sustainable and long-endurance undersea design, or a cautionary tale about the limits of technological ambition. Either way, it's a story worth watching closely. China's Type 041 submarine represents one of the boldest experiments in modern marine engineering, a leap towards silent, enduring, and efficient undersea travel. Whether it fulfills its ambitious vision or faces years of refinement, it has already sparked a global conversation about how we power the next generation of submersible technology. The blend of AIP and nuclear energy might redefine how submarines are built, operated, and imagined. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.